Hello students. In this video, we will discuss a question of projections of planes, in which the plane is inclined to VPN perpendicular to HP. Let us read out the question. A pentagonal lamina of edge 30 mm is inclined to VP at 45 degree and perpendicular to HP. Draw the projections of the lamina if it is resting on one of its edges on VP. So in the question it is given that we have a pentagonal lamina whose one edge is equal to 30 mm means it is a regular pentagonal lamina all the sides are equal to 30 mm and it is inclined at 45 degree to VP and perpendicular to HP. So it is the case when the plane is inclined to one of the principal planes okay, and perpendicular to the other. Draw the projections of the lamina if it is resting on one of its edges on VP. So this is the third condition. So as we know that there are three conditions to solve a question of projections of planes. First is the size of the plane is given to you. right? Then second is the orientation of the whole plane. So the plane as a whole, it is either it is inclined to VP or inclined to HP, whatever inclination or orientation with respect to the principal planes is there. So this is the second condition. And the third condition is the orientation or the placement of the plane with respect to one of its edges, corners or centers, right? So all the three uh, conditions are given to us. Let us move to the AutoCAD. As in the question, it is given that the plane is inclined to VP and perpendicular to HP. So as per the rule, which says that if the plane is given inclined to any of the principal planes, in the first step we will consider it parallel to the principal plane to which it is given inclined. Right? So since it is given inclined to VP and perpendicular to HP, in the first step we will make it parallel to VP. Right, so let us go to polygon command. This is polygon command. Number of sides are 5. Press enter. Edge method. Out for edge method. So, edge method is a method to draw a polygon in which we draw one edge of the polygon and rest of the polygon it is drawn automatically. So, first endpoint of the edge. Let us say this is the first endpoint of the edge. Then you turn on the ortho mode F8. So just draw one edge means you just need to enter 30. That is the size of one edge of the polygon. Right. Then after this you increase the line weight. Make it equal to 1 mm. Right, let us name, let us do the nomenclature. Let us, this is A dash. Increase the size. Times New Roman. And so this is a dash control C control V this is B dash this is C dash This is D dash. And this is E dash. Right. After this, let us draw the XY line. Turn on the ortho mode. Let us draw the XY line. This is the XY line.
let us draw the projection lines now from all the visible corners so projection line from b and a will be same projection line from c dash and e dash again this will also be same and then let us draw the projections from point d now since it is resting on one of its edges on vp right so we will be drawing the top view on the xy line please understand this thing since it is resting on one of its edges on vp so here it will rest on a dash b dash or ab you can see so we will draw the top view on xy line right so just draw the top view increase the line weight so this is 1 mm let us suppose now whenever you are drawing the apparent shape of any object okay especially plane do mark the points okay so click on multiple points let us mark the points first point second point and third point then let us go to p type command press enter let us say this is the point style right so control v let us do the nomenclature for top view so this will be a b this will be ec and this will be d right so this is the first step when the pentagonal plane it is assumed to be parallel to vp so this is parallel to vp right let us write it down this is parallel to vp this is parallel to vp and then let us draw the second part when the plane is inclined to vp right so for that what you need to do first of all you copy this top view go to copy command turn on object snap take this as the base point and place it over here since the plane is given inclined to vp okay the inclination is 45 degree with vp also it is resting on one of its edges on vp right so it will be resting on ab so this top view only point ab we will be keeping on xy line and rest of this top view will rotate let us go to rotate command this is rotate command select the object so this this is the object press enter specify base point this is the base point turn off ortho mode now we want to make this angle as 45 degree okay so either you enter minus 45 or 360 minus 45 that means it is 315 enter 315 so this is it okay so if we show the angle this angle is equal to 45 degree now let us draw the projection lines let us draw vertical projection lines from all the corners of the top view from here also 
and then let us draw horizontal projection lines from all the corners of the front view of the first deck. Right now, let us match the corresponding points. Go to point command. So this will be matching A with A. Okay, so this will be A one dash. I'll name afterwards. Matching with B with B. So this is B. So this will be B one dash. Matching C with C. This will be C1 dash, D1 dash, and this is E1 dash. Let us go to line command and join these corners. Right, so select this whole object, increase the line weight, make it 1 mm. Let us write the nomenclature. This is this will be A1 dash. So I'll write 1 in the subscript. Write 1. Select 1. And you select this right in the subscript. So A1 dash. Now we'll copy this. Control C, Control V. This will be V1 dash. Then this will be C1 dash. This is D1 dash. And this is E1 dash. Right, so let us trim the extra projection lines. In this also. Now select these lines. You can delete these. Right, so this is This is inclined to VP at forty five degree. This is the solution. Let us increase the line width for the XY line also. This you can keep medium thickness. Control V. Let us copy this. Control C. Control V. This is capital X.
and C capital Y. Right? I suppose this is clear to you. Thank you very much.